Yeah, what a wild time to be alive. Isn't yeah. that amazing? Yeah. You could go to an actual like YouTuber restaurant. But think about it, it's just more content. There's no yeah. way he's not going to film the launch. You're not wrong. I mean, you know what? It's a matter of time before we do a land center. Yeah. Like 100%. Yeah. How could we possibly fail at that business? <laughs> how how badly could I possibly Dude, f- up that's how- to not manage to run a successful land center? That's where you sell the in-person merch. And how much content would we get out of like creating yeah. a land center? Yeah. Like it, it's it's one of those things that's been on my list for ages just I, honestly, I could I could go oh, I could go rent some like commercial property tomorrow. Be like, okay, we're creating Linus Land Tips LLC. LLT LLC. It's got it's got a it rolls off the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you you serve even if you can't get an alcohol license, which is notoriously difficult here yeah. in the Greater yeah. Vancouver area. Even if you can't get an alcohol license, you just do you do energy drinks, you do snacks, you do all that kind of stuff. You charge people by the hour. You just you create a premium experience Gamer because snacks. honestly, LTT treats. Land every land center I've ever been to, other than maybe that cool gaming hotel, has just been kind of crap. And I think there's room to do so much better. Like, just don't cheap out. Make sure that every machine in the building has whatever the latest hot game is. Have it on there. Have it licensed. If people have their own account, by all means, sign into it. But these are these are problems that can absolutely be overcome. And I think that people will pay extra for a premium experience. I think that that's something we could absolutely do. Um, Land Center with VR stations? Yeah, absolutely, Flea Owner. Some, there's... Something that I, I would love to to have going is something you and I have always talked about is like lands have gotten kind of lame since I guess uh internet and social services and whatnot have all become more common because yep. like now you go to a land and everyone's just like sitting on some MMO or Facebook or I mean that happened a long time ago. Oh yeah for sure. Okay. But before then it was way cooler. Just saying. Because everyone would play the same game. Cause what are you gonna do? How do I say this without offending our entire audience? The problem with LAN gaming is gamers. Yeah. Yeah. (coughs) There's nothing about old school gaming or modern gaming that couldn't equally be adapted to the LAN party environment. The problem is that in order for a party to be fun, people have to participate. And gamers have, and I feel like this is something that has been exacerbated by modern gaming, but gamers tend to enjoy things that are within their comfort zone. I think that is a fair generalization. It's obviously not true about everyone, but it's definitely a tendency within the gaming community. For a land to work better, you kind of need something that almost no one has played or they haven't played since the last time you guys land together. So another thing that gamers do is they tend to have like, like a main game yeah. or a handful of main games. Yeah, for sure. So you've got two problems here. You've got people that like their main game and you've got this hesitancy to try something new in a lot of cases, especially if it's something where you're not going to have fun because you're not going to be able to perform up to the level that other people at the LAN are, are, are going to be able to because that's their main game. So what you need in order to have a, like the best LAN gaming experiences I ever had were the ones where there were like clear games masters in charge Yeah, that would basically say, okay, we're doing a free for all scrimmage match. Everybody go. Okay. I'm making teams. Yeah. I'm rebalancing the teams. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm creating a structure to this. I'm sorry. Is that world of Warcraft on your computer? Turn it off or leave. Because there are 16 of us, which means that it's eight versus eight, not eight versus seven, and we're playing this game right now. That'd be sweet. And that's actually exactly what I was getting into, is like the the disjointed nature of like three people actually playing a game together while 16 people sit there sucks. And if everyone actually just plays together, it's basically always fun. All my favorite memories are very similar. We used to have like a whiteboard and we'd make like the old school version of a challenge thing where you build your own ladder and you nice. make little teams and you you play Halo where you have like one team is in the garage playing on a couch out there and one team's inside and you're yelling at each other the whole time and stuff. And it's awesome. But everyone has to be involved for Absolutely. it to be awesome. Absolutely. And it's like, okay, okay, you're, you're like, that's like, not your honestly, favorite game. 
fine, suck it up. Because then I will play not my favorite game, but that is your favorite game. And we can both get to have a fun experience instead of both of us just sitting here something that, doing something we could have done in our basements at home. Yes. It, I would personally, I am not motivated to go to a land center. If there's a land center locally, I would not go. But, but if, if they, they had, had events. Had, yes. It's. Yes. It's, I'd so go. It's Halo one night. I'm it's, in. It's Quake 3 night. I'm in. It's Midtown Madness 2 Cops and Robbers night. I've never even really heard of that, but I'm in. Yeah, it's Worms night. Sweet. Whatever. Yeah. Right? Like It all sounds great. We're, we're having a six-hour Worms Armageddon tournament. If I know people Go. are going to be like hyped up and we're going to have some fun, I don't care if I've ever played it before or heard of it. I'm in. Let's go. Yeah. You know oh, what? Didn't mean to press that. You're also sort of... Um, how do I put this? You're you're also sort of I think taking for granted that you're really good at games. Like you will pick up a game that you've never played and we have kind of we Luke and I have kind of this uh this skill curve where I tend to be better at it immediately, like for the first maybe 20 minutes and then past about that point, Luke is almost immediately way better at it than me forever. We're like that's just how it is. I feel like we're decently even in Towerfall. Uh, yeah, but I've played it a lot more than you. Oh. <laughs> I this is what I'm talking I about. You genuinely didn't know that. <laughs> I mean, I've played it with my kids, but like, so I haven't. I haven't like played against someone really who could dude. really challenge me. Yeah. And this is before my son got good enough to actually. Dude, he won like a few times I know. last time we okay. played. In fairness, I was. I was, really not at my I best. I was not on it either. So, yeah. you know what, but... But still... Is a W a W, or is. is it something other than a W? It's still a W. A W is a W. And he, he fought for it, and he earned it 100%. He did, yeah. he did. He he played to win. That kid plays to win. Yeah. I, I worry sometimes that, like, the hyper-competitive <laughs> nature of that particular child of mine is going to... Something. It'll, something will happen. Uh, <laughs> Jay Horace said, not an entire center dedicated to this, but definitely a dedicated game night section of the land center would be cool. Uh, it's like... Yeah, screw it. No. Yeah. Just that's do the, whole, the whole point. Yeah. That's the entire point. It, it literally... Seeing one person just seated... I'm going to go away from the mic. I'm sorry. Seeing one person seated like this on Facebook just kills the whole thing. Kills the vibe. You got to have everyone engaged. Kills like the it, vibe. It actually matters to have everyone that's there engaged. Yeah, true Scott. It's like Carmageddon was great, especially when you messed around with the config on the server and made people's cars bounce off the sky or like, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I love it. So that's my big problem with land parties. And I don't remember how I got on this subject. Ah, yes, right. I, I would love to open up a land center, but it would only be fun if I could do it my way where yeah. it's you, you do it my way or and honestly you leave. i think if you didn't do it your way i well oh, it man. might do okay because it's a tied tied to yeah. this but like if it wasn't tied to this i think it would just die okay hold on a second man it would be like the sweaty nerd equivalent of like an exclusive nightclub yeah that would be so cool yeah because because whether people know it or not, they would show up having, you know, especially like younger, younger kids. OK, like you're 15, you're 18 or whatever. Right. You have never experienced what land gaming was like in the early 2000s. You were literally it's not born totally yet. totally different. It's totally different. You come in thinking, oh, I just want to go like somewhere where they have a high end computer and I can play my game at like high FPS. You end up getting drawn into like whatever this weird tournament we're doing is or whatever. You're going to want to come back because it's, it's not like anything else. We used to play like at Lands at Outhost, we used to play weird games too because a huge sure. goal was making sure no one had really played it. So like Robot Unicorn Attack was like some weird flash game that we played that nice. ended up like being a total hit because it was really like kind of twitchy and reaction time fun. Yeah. And we'd like put it up on a projector and everyone would like, there was this weird song that played in the background. So people would start like singing it and get really hyped up. Like it's, it, oh man. Here's one that awesome. I would bring in. Uh, unfortunately, I've probably played it too much to actually participate, but it's called Liero. 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 It's worms, but real time. Uh, and you can play multiplayer split screen. Awesome. 
Um, and basically, you just you have all these different weapons. It is extremely easy to accidentally suicide the f out of yourself. <laughs> uh, you've got a hook shot, so you can kind of get around that way. Oh, nice. Okay. So you can see uh, he just set a bomb that just created some space. Uh, you got a tunnel around, so you tunnel by going back and forth really quickly this on the left and awesome. right button. It is so much fun. But there's there's always a solution too. So like when you're saying, oh, I played this too much. You can just yeah. position yourself as like the final boss. Uh, that's true. You can actually you can handicap in this game. Okay. Uh, so you can just set yourself to have like almost no health. That's so you have to like get right in and, and assassinate. Uh, whoever's playing right now is absolutely terrible. And I would play with my friends uh, <laughs> in Mr. McCloskey's portable during lunch. Uh, we were we we got to the point where it was like kind of kind of ridiculous. Actually, it's so good. My understanding is that it was actually re because the source code was lost. For this game oh, at some whoa. point or another Dang. and then somebody went back and tried to remake it um i i i don't the, guys i'm real rusty i'm real rusty on all the details but man having a liero night would be freaking amazing you'd have all these people that have like no idea what they're doing going and just absolutely exploding themselves with chiquita bombs <laughs> so good you can also like so good if you want to you could make prizes but you can make them like really weird i don't know if i've ever told you about it but uh, when I used to host lands back at Uvic, yeah, uh, we gave out bananas. Oh, that's fun! If you won, you won a banana. Yeah. So I'd like go buy a bushel of bananas just, before land night, and then just like enjoy your snack, gamer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> victory snack. Yeah. 